So, what do I intend to do today? After a lot of talking, what I intend to do is to explore Majula and possibly start off our first adventure. So, there's a lot to explore, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, look around here. There seems to be an NPC over here. I think it's it's a woman. I, I know this because someone in the comments said that I should talk to them first. That they would give me something important. Are you the next monarch? Or merely a pawn of fate? Bearer of the curse. I will remain by your side till this frail hope shatters. Take this with you. May it ease your journey. Ah, or Estus Flask times one. Can we only use it once? King. He who made Drangleg what it once was. He who peered at the essence of the soul. King Vendry. You may level up by the power of the Emerald Herald. Okay, so now we've unlocked leveling up. Good, good to know. Um, another advice people have given me is that I should talk to every character until they repeat their dialogue, because apparently that's a thing in this game. Usually I do that in most video games when I'm playing alone, but uh, for recording purposes and because I don't want to bore everyone, I don't do this. I guess in this case it has more repercussions than usually. Bearer of the curse, seek misery. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. You will never meet the king with a soul so frail and pallid. So you're telling me to level up. Could you be a little bit more, you know, forward with that information? That was a little confusing. Seek those whose names are unutterable. The four endowed with immense souls. Their souls will serve as beacons. Once you have found them, return here to me, so that hope will not fade away. Okay, so uh, this uh, person is... she's putting a lot of confidence in, in me, this random guy that just appeared and talked to her. She didn't even look at me or anything, but she knows that I'm special because I'm playing the game. Also, she told me that I should find four guys. I assume they're four bosses. Bearer of the curse. Seek souls. Larger, more powerful souls. Seek the king. That is the only way. Lest this land swallow you whole, as it has so many others. Oh, okay, Emerald Herald. She can level me up? Upgrade Asus Fla- Oh, yes. Give- Yes, I want you to- up You do not have Estus Flask Shard. Damn it. So I need Estus Flask Shards. It's good to know. And by the way, thank you for the advice of dogging to everyone as much as I can, because I was- If I was playing this on my own, I would probably have just left before this. So level up. What can we do with our souls? We could- I- I- What- What is this? Endurance? Uh, can I level up once again? I can level up twice. Um, I usually tend to go for... Do I have enough for one more? No, I don't. I only have enough for two. I'm gonna go with this. Ooh, wait. This vigor is HP and endurance is endurance. Okay, good to know. Yeah, just just confirming this. I, I don't want to make a, a mistake here. By the way, the HP didn't really raise that much. How about I do something different? Uh, maybe dexterity for a little bit more damage. It's three damage. Plus poison BNS and bleed BNS. I'm sure I read that this probably poison infliction percentage or something. Doesn't doesn't really matter. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go with this and I'm gonna forego the vigor for now. I'll be upgrading my HP later, rest assured. All right, cool. Over the hill and past the forest is the king's castle. Where a man peered straight into the essence of the soul. But whatever came of it? I'm not entirely sure. And what hill exactly were you referring to? Is it that hill over there? Or that's where we came from, so... 
That's probably not it. Those who come to Drang Lake seeking salvation soon lose hope and turn hollow. It happens to them all, sooner or later. That blue knight at the base of the tower, his spirit is already broken. Although he does offer sound advice. Perhaps he is a foreshadowing of your own future. Perhaps not, because if he's turning hollow, I, I don't want to turn hollow. Well, I'll inevitably turn hollow, but that's not the point. Uh, I assume the tower is this uh, structure over there? That tiny thing inside the ruins. An ancient being that will mock your very existence. She imparts sound wisdom. Provided you find her on a good day. We've apparently lost connection to the server. I'm not sure what that's about. I'll try to fix it in a second. The sign you bear will drain your very souls. And without souls, you will turn hollow. Stay strong. Do not lose hope. Even when you have precious little time. Just... How many lines did you record, lady? For when the undead dies, it is never truly dead, but only one step closer to Halloween. Not all undead are hollows, but all hollows were once undead. If you find an Estus shard, bring it to me, so that I may ease your burden. Oh, please do. Over the hill and past the forest, where a man pe Yes, Those yes, yes. We've, we've seen this one. Oop. That bloom, although he does. All right, now I'm going to try to fix the online thing, and I'll be right back. So we return to Dark Souls 2. Still in offline mode, because uh, apparently they're having some sort of difficulty with their network. It is not on my end, and there was this 1.4 gigabyte patch that I had to download. Apparently, the calibrations are now at 1.13, whatever that means. Point being, I am no stranger to uh, Dark Souls offline, so uh, I will not be hindered by technical difficulties, and I will continue this 15 minutes later after having emptied my bladder. Let's uh, check this. The letters are worn beyond recognition. Fair enough. Let's check again, maybe there's something, no? Okay, all right, game. I was thinking you might be tricking me for a little bit. So, I assume you're the warrior that uh, the lady down there was, was talking about. I don't know the name of the lady because she didn't really introduce herself, did she? Zero deaths worldwide. That's, I, I wish the world it was, was, uh, was this good. There was no death and everyone was happy. You're undead, aren't you? You have that distinct scent, the smell of irreversible fate. This is Majula. It is a kind of settlement. A place where life is almost normal. And in Drang Lake these days, there are very few places like that. I was uh, sorry, I was mesmerized because this game is actually quite handsome. Look at that. See the water? I mean, it's, it's off in the distance, and if we got closer, I'm sure it wouldn't look as good. But hey, it's still really nice. I am Solden. And like you, I lost everything. And now I'm here. You probably heard that it was possible to break the curse here. Well, that's not true at all. There's nothing here for you, me, or anybody. This man lies broken, as we had heard from the lady downstairs, and uh, she hopes that we don't turn into him and lose all hope. Everyone in Dark Souls is always so depressed. This game is in serious need of someone with, uh, with high spirits. Do you know? 
much about souls. Even I'm not certain, but... I'm told that the soul is the essence of life itself. Anything living, sentient or no, supposedly has one. What we call the curse is traceable to the soul. Do you see what that means? To be alive, to walk this earth, that's the real curse, right there. We undead will never die. And that's quite a predicament, really. Hmm. Well, we knew that undead sort of always come back to life at the bonfire. Isn't that it? There are four beings in this land with giant souls. And wherever you go from here, you'll sooner or later come up against them. Each has a powerful soul and a terrible curse. If that frightens you, then you ought to just give up right now. Like I have. <laughs> And I was missing that. In Dark Souls 1, every single NPC ended with a creepy laugh. That's... <laughs> Do you ever cry out for help? The journey of an undead is long and treacherous. You'll face invaders from other worlds at every turn. If you need help, why not proclaim faith in the Blue Sentinels? When you face danger, the Blue Sentinels will come to your aid. Protection is yours, if you wish. You need only accept their kind embrace. Join the way of, a, of Blue Covenant. Yeah, okay, Covenants. I'm not entirely sure how covenants work in this game, but I'm not sure how they worked in the other game, but the thing is, if you joined a covenant, I think that you could summon people in your covenant. Ah, you have earned a trophy. Covenant of the meek. Cool. Um, you could summon people uh, in your covenant that were the same covenant as you to help you tackle certain challenges, and that made the game easier. I'm not sure or not if that is true. I'm going to say no, because I'm not sure if this is the covenant I want, because you had different advantages for joining different covenants. I'm not sure if you can change later or anything, so I'm just going to say no for now. Then you'll have to brave this treacherous journey on your own. If you ever require help, Come back anytime. I will stay here and pray for your safety. This this guy is bringing even me down, but he's a cool guy. He's he's trying to help. He's I like him. Let's uh, explore here a little bit before we move ahead. Try not to die in the stupidest way possible. I just I'd be really embarrassed if I died by something really stupid like walking off the ledge. Pretty sure that's not the first thing that uh, anyone's ever done when they've started playing in this area and they were exploring around here because I've seen a lot of uh, um, bloodstains close to the edges of, uh, of these cliffs. So I'm sure people have died in that way. But, uh, okay, so what are my intentions for this session? I'd like to, first of all, explore Majula a little bit. Oh, see, that's, this is where ex why exploring pays off. Soul of a Nameless Soldier and Life Jam. Cool. We know what all of these are, so we don't need to look at them for sort of little tidbits of... Oh, wait, is that a person? Who are you? Oh, it doesn't matter. Just help me open this door. I packed my tools in here, seeing it was vacant. But now somebody's gone and locked the door. I'm a blacksmith. I'm nothing without my tools. Bring me that key. Chop, chop. Yeah, so we find our very first blacksmith. 
The blacksmiths, I believe, were used. I'm a blacksmith. I'm nothing without my tools. Bring me that key. They were used to upgrade your weapons, so basically we need a key that could be anywhere, really. It's locked. Yeah, I, I figured. And uh, when we do, we probably will get access to our first upgrading mechanic of weapons. The weapon upgrade was a lot more important in, in uh, the previous game than, uh, say, stats upgrading. So we reached the center of Majula and the place where... Uh, Sparta in 300 was uh, was filmed. This is Sparta. Can we even go down there? There seems to be something down there, but it's too far down. I'm sure we'll die. There must be another way around. So I'm going to, you know, take the safe approach and uh, not try my luck at that. I I like my first death to at least be meaningful. Uh oh. oh hello there. Welcome to my uh, shop. I'm Morlin, and I, well, I sell armor. Oh, sorry, I... Please do have a look at my wares. I could really use the business, if you'd be so kind. Well, he's a polite fellow, so uh, let's take a look at what he has. Ooh, he has shields! This is amazing. But I'd spent my souls on other things. The silver eagle kite shield seems good. Medium-sized metal shield, commonly used standard shield, has a pointed top designed for ease of use while a while on horseback. I'm pretty sure there are no horses in this game, so we're good. Twin dragon great shield, a wooden great shield featuring twin dragons, quite light for this size of shield. One requires strength to handle a great shield, but they are very stable. In battle, one fights using shield bash instead of parrying. So this shield, shield bashes instead of parrying? Could that be useful? I don't know. I'm not sure if uh, shield bashing was present in the other game. A small shield made of iron, the unusual design suggests a foreign origin, lightweight despite its iron construction, and sturdy despite its small size, but not sufficient to protect one from real danger. So, if I'm to understand this correctly, these shields, they have different levels of protection. That's the... Uh, I can see that there's... Can I, uh... Help. Can I see their stats? This is attribute bonus strength, blah blah blah. Influence of strength on physical attack. Alright, but these are not defensive stats, are they? 20 strength to wield this one, and 10 strength to wield this one. I'd really like to wield the Silver Eagle Kite Shield if I have a chance. There's the standard helm that I can buy, I'm not sure if I can equip it, and some infantry gloves and boots that I'm not sure will offer better defense than my own. I'm not sure if I can compare them or not, I'll save that for another time. Let's keep talking to this fellow right here, he seems polite. I came from the west, from Volgan. Have you been there? It's a lively place, vibrant with trade. Very competitive, of course. And you, you have to grease the wheels to get anywhere. But I didn't have the funding for that, so I left home in hopes of striking gold. It's been years since then, and I've... <laughs> well, I've made very little headway. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm still here. Everything's all run down and dying. It's t terrible for business, really. A group calling themselves the Blue Sentinels have gained much power in Volgan. You can't even run a shop without their blessing. They claim to be working for the greater good, oh, but it's absolute hogwash. Ah, so the Blue Sentinels that offered us to join their covenant earlier, they're not as good as they appear to be. <sighs> oh, by the gods, why the hell am I here? There's also something quite interesting. I will talk about it in a second after we finish talking to this guy. <sighs> oh, by the gods, 
Where the hell am I here?